All right. Welcome to the Piss Me Off podcast with Ron. I need no introduction because I'm famous. Um, so last week we did the games uh, and it seemed like people enjoyed that, which seems like the easiest way to go about this podcast, I think, than just trying to come up with something to talk about. First of all, we need to give tribute to the best bully on TV. Rest in peace, Debo. Oh, right. Yeah, Debo died. He was pretty young, too. I think he was like, just like 62. Yeah. I don't know what he died from. Uh, it said the Rona, but... It said Rona? Yeah. yeah. Who knows? He fell out of a plane and died from coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it is. I'm behind on my mortgage. I got Rona. Yeah. Also, I published my book this week, so I'll have a descri- uh, a link in the description uh, where to go buy that. Um, how many questions you got? As many as you want. So we'll just do a few funny questions and then do your quiz. I got to keep it kind of short tonight. My father-in-law is passing away and everybody's, okay. I'm just kind of giving them their, their moment. So before I head over there. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. All right, so we'll do your questions and we'll just go into the game because I had questions too, but we can push that off till next week. The uh, well, the the first one is actually it, it's it's like dirty questions, but it's not dirty answers type thing. Okay. But the first one's pretty good. You stick your um. You stick your poles inside me. You tie me down and get me up. I get wet before you do. What am I? Stick your poles inside me. You. What was the rest? You tie me down to get me up. I get wet before you do. What am I? That uh, tent. Yeah. Good job. All right. One for one. You ah. Googled it, didn't you? <laughs> no, I, just looking at us. Hold on, my phone keeps blinking. Fucking ads. Okay. I come in a lot of different sizes. Sometimes I drip a little. If you blow me, it feels really good. What am I? Ah. Sometimes I drip a little. I come in a bunch of different sizes. If you blow me, it feels really good. Yeah. That's so fucking vague. Uh, below, what it feels good when you blow it. <laughs> uh, Narrow it down. <laughs> rips a little, you blow it. What the fuck? Uh, what was the first part? Hey, keep moving. I come. And a lot of different sizes. Okay. Sometimes I drip a little. If you blow me, it feels really good. What am I? I, I, I don't have anything. I'm thinking like instruments. Your nose. Okay. Damn. Okay. That was a good one. <laughs> I don't know if I would have got that. <laughs> what a four letter word that begins with F and ends with K. And if you can't get Get it, you can always just use your hands. Four letter word that begins with F, ends with K. If you can't get it, you can always just use your hands. Fork? Yeah. You're not making this funny. (laughs) 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 What is what's beautiful and natural, but gets prickly. If it isn't trimmed regularly. We well, want me to say Putang, but that obviously that's the thing. You already told me that it's not the answer. So it gets beautiful and natural. It gets prickly if not trimmed. Pruned. Yeah. Prickly. I mean, they're just so big. It gets prickly. What 
Well, technically I'm right with Putang. So I'm going to go ahead and insert Putang. Then uh, you just give me the answer because I can't think of what else it would be. Nani. The lawn. How does the lawn get prickly? Because I was thinking about that and I was like. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a good one. Let it go. I'm great protection. You use your fingers to get me off. What am I? A gun? Glove. Great protection, okay. I'm great for protection. I'm the highlight of many dates. I'm especially responsive when you put your fingers deep inside me. I don't know if that's the highlight, that's the... <laughs> the work you gotta put in. Um, the highlight of many dates, I'm especially something when you put your fingers inside me. I'm especially responsive when you put your fingers deep inside me. Bowling ball? Yes. Well, this ain't even fun anymore. Let's go to <laughs> your <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I wish I wasn't so smart, but I was just <laughs> fucking genius. Is that it? Yeah, let's go to your game. Do you want some of these questions first or you just want to go straight to the game? However, how are you going to do it? I'm just trying to see how much of a time limit you're on. Well, there's no time limit, so I'm just... Okay, we'll go. We'll go quick through these. All right, we'll we'll try to make this into a game where we answer these quick. Well, you will. Um, I got these from a World Star Hip Hop video. Uh, I think they just call it questions, but it's it's a funny video. But um, all right. So question number one: What is the capital of Chicago? Capital of Chicago. Capital of Chicago. Chicago is the capital of Illinois, ain't it? Or Illinois. Illinois. Chicago is the capital of Illinois. Is that your final answer? Yeah. I don't believe Chicago is the capital, but yeah, Chicago is a city, so there's no capital, capital of Chicago. Uh, what, is CD, C, <clears throat> what does the acronym CEO stand for? I don't think I've ever known that. I just know what it is. Company, owner. <laughs> well, I mean, second letter is an E, Ron. It just, I know. It would be an owner. Oh, CEO. CEO. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Those were chief executive officer. Okay. Mary, what state did the Boston Tea Party take place? <laughs> Boston? <laughs> That's a final answer. Yeah. Boston is a city in the state of, okay, Massachusetts, right. So in a litter of puppies, all but eight die. How many puppies are still alive? Huh? All but litter, eight die. In a litter of puppies, all but eight die. How many puppies are still alive? Eight. Right. Yeah. All right, so if Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? Y -E -S. I say that again? If Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? Easy. E-Y-E-S. Y-E-S spells yes. What does E-Y-E-S spell? Eyes. All right. Damn it, I thought you weren't going to get that one. <laughs> All right. Whose face is on the $10 bill? Jackson? <laughs> it's Alexander Hamilton. Huh? Alexander Hamilton. I don't know. I like Jackson's better. <laughs> Oh, he's on 50, though, ain't he? I think it's yeah, 50. Curtis, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. He's on the... Uh... <laughs> he's on the 50. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Um, so number seven, if you're driving two miles per hour, how long will it take you to get 100 miles? Two, two miles per hour. You're trying to go 100 miles. Okay. So every hour going to so 200 hours. Final answer? Yeah. 
50 hours. 100 divided by two. It's a long time. Yeah. All right, so um, a boy and his father get into a car accident. The father dies and the boy is rushed to the hospital. When the boy arrives to the operating room, the doctor says, I cannot operate on this boy. He is my son. How is that possible? He is my son. Did you read it? Grandson? Is that your final answer? Sure. What's his mother? Doctors. Oh, I guess you never said if it was a female doctor. Okay. What does the acronym <laughs> NAACP stand for? I feel like if you didn't know CEO, you're not going to know this one. NAACP? Mm -hmm. NAACP. Niggas with attitude positive. <laughs> Well, that would be NWAP. <laughs> NWA was an example. NWA NWACP. Hmm. NAACP. National African American CP. You're on the right track. It's not correct, but. Something to do with African American, something another. Yes, but it, that's not what the A stands for. It's the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Ah. All right. So this Close is enough. another acronym that I, I really, I mean, I know you won't get this right because this is just a, well, I'll tell you in a minute. What does the acronym NAMBLA stand for? Who? NAMBLA. NAMBLA. N A M B L A. NAMBLA. I don't know. It's the North American Man Boy Love Association. Which is <laughs> and why do you know this? It's it was like on South Park, and they used. Are to you like part of it? <laughs> there used to be a guy on Howard Stern that was like a. Um, he was like a spokesman for the Nambla. Oh, I remember that because Cartman was part of it. Yeah, he's yeah part I of it. remember that episode. That's a real thing. Yeah. All right, how many stripes on the American flag? Final 50. question. Fifty stripes on the American flag. But there's 50 stars and uh no 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 you I didn't even think about that. You can't look. 12, 12 stripes. Okay. No, there's 13 for the 13. 13 calls. stripes and 50 stars. Damn, I didn't even think it was fucking American flag. <laughs> Wait, let me count. Hold on. Yeah. If it's even painted correctly. I'm sure it is. I'm sure that in you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's painted correctly. Whew. All right. Now to the game. Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, you went away. Oh, it's all right. I'm pulling up the thing. What the hell? This? No, I I touched something. Hmm. You can't see it? No. It's well, it's, well, hold on. It's up in the corner. We should be up in the corner, and then you should see the. Uh... Okay. Somehow I put on which celebrity. Oh, I, I pulled up some kind of game. Some or did you do that? I just pulled up the game. Do you see you a did, okay. of Bill Cosby? Yes. Okay. Is that you? Yeah. You don't see us in the corner? Okay. Yes. But mine like went away. I thought I did. I hit something. Oh, very good. So uh, some of this might be cut out uh, just by our videos, but the game is which celebrity did the crime? <laughs> you want some pudding? <laughs> yeah. All right. So there it is. All right, number one, driving without a license and running a stop sign. Bill Gates, Hugh Jackman, or Taylor Swift? Which celebrity? I'm going to go with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, final answer. Yes. Right. It was Bill Gates. Nah. When he was a teenager. I think it was like right before he created Microsoft. All right. Number two, felony assault with a deadly weapon, stabbing a record producer, Jay Z, Vanilla Ice, or Pitbull? I'm going to say Jay Z. 
Final answer. Final answer. It was Jay Z. Stabbing a record producer. Awesome. Number three, possession of heroin, cocaine, and 357 Magnum. Robert Downey Jr., Dave Chappelle, or Prince? Ronnie Downey Jr. Ronnie Downey Jr. Final answer. All right. Answer, Ronnie Downey Jr. Good job. So let's, real quick, you're one, uh, you're two for three? Yeah, I got one wrong. All right, two for three. DUI and reckless driving. Jason Statham, The Rock, or Keanu Reeves? Oh, shit, that's a tough one. I like all them guys, but I'm going to go with well, DUI and reckless driving. DUI and reckless driving. Statham. Jason Statham? Yeah. All right, you're two for four. It's Keanu Reeves. That's, that's surprising. Yeah, I know, right? He's like such like a nice guy, but I mean, even nice guys drink and drive. Yeah. Assault with a dangerous weapon, pistol whipping a man for kissing his wife. Eminem, Denzel Washington, or Mel Gibson? Eminem, final answer. All right. Three for five, Ron. It's Eminem. He looked like a little douchebag when he was younger, didn't he? Yeah. Did you, did, do you, you probably don't watch Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah. You do? Did you see the last Not one? Not recently, but. Oh man, the one the la I just saw a clip on YouTube. It was you remember the Stan video, the song Stan by Eminem about the yeah. best fan. Well, actually, the the first guy on this one, Pete Davidson, he they redid it and he was Eminem, and it was like Stan but riding the Santa Claus. And Santa Claus wasn't running, but it was the funniest thing I've seen on SNL. Uh, forever. He's the one that just did that fire show, fireman show. That was a good movie, yeah, with Bill Burr in it. I don't remember the name, but it's a good movie. Well, the guy, uh, it was a show, I thought, like a couple seasons or something, where he was, his dad died, was a firefighter or something. It's a movie. Oh, okay, because the guy that was playing his dad, the uh, googly eyes or whatever, crazy eyes, he's always in the Adam Sandler movies. Belushi or, or Bucci, huh? Steve Buscemi? Yes. He was actually a New York firefighter. And he, yeah, and he volunteered. Uh, he was a New York firefighter in like the 80s, and then he volunteered during 9 11. Yes, for free for like six weeks or something. Right. I don't remember him being in that movie, but. Um, I thought I saw him. In, I saw like a couple clips of it. Like I thought the, it yeah, yeah. He was the chief. Uh, Bill Burr was yeah. uh, not his dad. Just, you don't see his dad in the movie because his dad's dead. Yeah, he was the chief or something, but yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so number six, drag racing, DUI, resisting arrest, possession of marijuana, and prescription pills. That little dumbass beaver in the middle. Yeah, that was an easy one. That was semi-recent. That was actually six years ago, but... Has it been that long? Yeah, because it was the Lamborghini in Miami. It was drag racing, but I would do that, too, if I had a Lamborghini. So I don't know. Um, maybe, but he's still a douche. Yeah. Well, now he's, like, all... He's turned his life around. He's all, you know very Christian and he has like a steady girlfriend and uh, not drag racing and sounds fucking so much fun. Mm. All that money and a uh, fuck. What question are we on? So what do you, what do you know? Huh? I forgot to keep going on how many you got right. All right. So on seven, you got, let me see if I can go back real quick. You got Bieber, right? And Eminem, right? So you are five for seven. Two for five. Or five for seven. Yeah, two for five or three for four, something like that. So we're on, we're on seven. So you're five for. Wait. <laughs> two or three. I missed two or three. Yeah, fuck it. We wouldn't need a final one. All right, felony possession of cocaine. Well, it could have been any one of them. <laughs> All of them? Final answer. Final answer is all of them. <laughs> all right, it's Bruno Mars. The, the other two just didn't get caught yet. Yeah. I didn't really do much uh, research to see if the other ones got caught too. But I did a little bit and I don't think they did. All right, number eight, domestic violence. Eddie Murphy, James Brown, or George Clooney? George, James Brown, final answer? James Brown, final answer. That is correct, James Brown. Look at that picture. Yeah, number nine, sexual assaults, Tupac, Justin Timberlake, or Gary Busey? What the fuck's wrong with Gary Busey? He's scaring me in that picture. 
<laughs> he was in an accident in like a long time ago, and he's been crazy ever since in a motorcycle. Hey, um, sexual assault, huh? Yeah, basically rape. They could all have been accused of it, so let's say Tupac. Final answer. Right, this person did do time for it, and it was Tupac. I think he did. I, I think he was sentenced like four and a half years, but he got off on good behavior. All right, number 10, final question. Felony possession of marijuana in their own bedroom. Was it Snoop Dogg, Russell, Rivenbark, or Willie Nelson? <laughs> yeah, had to, didn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it could have been either one of them. Uh, in their own bedroom, I'm going to say Willie. Final answer. Willie, yes. This is specific to their own bedroom. Willie Nelson is incorrect. It was Russell Rivenbark. <laughs> Rested in my own bedroom because my roommate called the police because I was smoking weed in there. When was this? Uh, October 19th, 2013. 13? Yeah. You look like a little douchebag back in the day. I look, why? Why do I look like a douchebag? You just, that look you got on your face, it's like you don't, because now you got the beard. Was, it's now you, there, you, just, you just look like a little pothead. <laughs> I mean, nothing's changed. I'm just your not- hair, yeah, well, you got a beard and you shaved your, your hair to shave. I, well, I, the only reason it's this long is because I can't afford a haircut right now. I was thinking actually even shaving it like that, but I don't know. Now I'm all self-conscious because Ron doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, don't shave your head. All right. <laughs> that was the game. Anything you want to leave on? I know you got to get going. No, no. Well, um. Next week should be, you know, better timing, so. All right, well, uh, read pissmeoffseries.com. Going to be in the description below. Buy my new book, Beaten Dog. Uh, you know, Ron's about to buy it uh, for everybody uh, for Christmas, so. <laughs> I guess I'll that's be, it. I'll be your only customer. I have already a few customers, thank you. I got royalties coming my way. Uh, so. Well, they're good. You'll be able to afford that haircut. Yeah, well, royalties you get like every two months, so about another month and a half, yeah. I'll be able to afford the haircut. All, All right, right, we need to pack up this way. Uh, maybe Christmas time, but yeah. I don't... The thing about Christmas is it's like I have to be at my mom's like in the morning and then I got to go to my dad's later at, uh, which is like, you know, uh, Satellite Beach. Um, maybe if they're even having people over, I don't know. I think they're kind of on like, uh, you know, super quarantine level until everybody in the world is cured or something. I'll be over your way on the 23rd. The dog? Yeah. Again, that's like an hour and a half away from me, but if you want to meet halfway and- It beats three and a half hours like it is now. Well, the only thing I'd say is like, if you want to meet up, I'd say before you get the dog, right? Cause you don't want to have a dog with you or we're just going to go stop it. Like- so I'll leave the mutt in the car, you know, <laughs> put cookies on the dash you know in the summertime when the kids quit screaming you know the cookies are done you have somebody break your window for all abuse all right man all right man take it easy uh you know do your thing and we'll see you next week everybody keep it real all right peace